sad news from this week with the death of former Wales rugby captain and legendary BBC broadcaster and commentator Eddie Butler. A wordsmith like no other, Eddie's voice became synonymous with the Six Nations and so many other great sporting moments and major events down the years. Andrew Cotter pays tribute to the late great voice of Wales. If you're lucky or gifted, you can leave a mark on the world. Leave something good to be remembered by. Eddie Butler was a man of many gifts. Every sport is looking for something special, something that makes it stand out from the rest. There was an obvious talent for playing sport, for club and country. Talent enough to lead that nation with rugby in its soul. And Butler has scored a superb try. There was, though, a contrast. That dray horse frame of a back row forward containing the mind of a poet. An ability to play the game more than matched by a talent to describe it. And then to learning himself, given the chance to work with the voice of rugby, Bill McLaren. Are you out of breath, Bill? I'm thoroughly impressed, but I'm thoroughly impressed with the game, Eddie. So how do you follow a master? Eddie did so with his own voice, by giving voice to all those who watch, by finding the words to explain, to articulate the myriad emotions that sport can bring. Oh, England, what have you done? And Wales, what are you doing? And there was a mind that often simply saw the humour in it all. Made it possibly unwise. Disclosure that shares his legs. Brought the light to go with the shade. Shade away, Gavin, shade away. But greater still was his ability to show us what television sports broadcasting could be. Not mere shouting or excitable noise, but lyrics to work with the music of the game. Or prose to give us pause for thought. Slowly, China opened a door to the world and offered a cautious hand of welcome. Pictures, music and words combined, television sport as art. Inspire a generation. The billboard slogan that became the Olympic wish. He was, above all, a writer. Quite often unheralded, scripting for others to read. Better still, if we were lucky, brought to life by his voice and his delivery. The sport of a silence beautifully broken. Eddie always fell upon the fitting way to describe the grand occasion, whatever the occasion. And after 36 straight defeats, Italy have won in Cardiff. He was, most recently, working on memorials for the Queen, before the trip to South America as ambassador for a cancer charity. Which tells you about an even greater talent that leaves a deeper mark. To give and to be generous, to be warmly recalled on and off the pitch. My traps aren't good enough for you, are they, a man of so many gifts, a life so full, it's difficult to sum up. Eddie would have found the words.